Hey, welcome back everyone, Toys Shiz here, and I'm back yet again with yet another Metacom Toys video, and today we're going to be checking out the fairly recent release of the Metacom Mafex. This is going back to the 90s, baby, which that's where I love to live with my DC Comics these days. The Return of Superman, Solar Regeneration Suit Superman, or just the black costume. Superman. On the sides of the box and all over the place, you get really nice photos, tells you all about what you got going on inside the box, and it looks like a pretty cool looking figure, right? If you are a fan of the 90s DC comics, including the death and the return of Superman, when finally he came back, sporting a really cool looking black costume, silver, he's got some rocking jet boots to boots. It's pretty cool, I have to say, and uh, yeah, he's got one sweet mullet. For those of you who want to stick through to the end of this video, I'll show you how you can save some cash using my affiliate links for all Entertainment Earth, and maybe we can get you some free shippings as well. But you got to spend a little bit, just saying. You can always fast forward to the end of the video, but who's, who's going to do that, right? So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the fairly newish... We'll just say the solar regeneration suit, the return of Superman from the Mafex Metacom Toys series. So here's everything taken out of the packaging. And you get not only a figure, which is always cool, right? And I'm glad they threw that in the box. But you get a lot of extra hands and you get a lot of accessories to really pose this guy out. Which, first and foremost, which is kind of funny to me, you get a pair of extra legs. These have the boots that allow Superman to fly because when he comes back, he's largely powerless and he can't really do much. He has to utilize guns and weapons and robots and, well, flight boots, right? So there you go. You got those along with some flight boost effects, which are looking like elongated candy corn, which they do the trick. They actually look pretty cool. You take the boots and you simply just plug in the effect and it goes right in. So very nice. Totally stays very sturdy. I totally appreciate that. And it's a nice effect piece. Much of the vein of all these Metacom figures, you get a bunch of hand trees, which I love. Right here, though, with the fisted hands, I thought, what, they give me double fisted hands? No, these are kind of like the Nightfall Batman fisted hands, quote unquote, where they have a little gappage in between. So you could hold the cape, but this solar regeneration suit Superman doesn't have a cape. What I really would have appreciated would have been all the weapons and all the cool gadgetry that he had when he made his return. He had to rely on these non-lethal weapons, but methinks with the whole DC Comics thing, they couldn't include him, which is a total bummer, and he doesn't come with hands to hold any of them either. Now, he does come with one cool snarling mulleted head, nicely painted, I gotta give it to him, and the art style and the sculpture is just very 90s, and I love that. Very much like the Nightfall Batman, which I love. And speaking of Superman here in his all-black costume, it's a pretty cool-looking figure. I'll give it to him. But it's kind of boring at the same time, whereas I feel like you do got these little feet, right? He's got his little steel-toed shoes. You could kind of say you could swap out the legs and all that. But that's where all those cool 90s vacuum cleaner guns really would have come in handy. You got the boots, they attach like so, it's really nice, but he comes with a stand. The stands are very loose, and I noticed that with the Nightfall, I thought, oh, maybe it's just the stand, I don't know. No, they're all largely loose, no matter what I do to tighten them, and they can't really get him elevated all too well because they keep flopping over. Once you kind of get him hooked in, it kind of works, but I recommend using the DC Multiverse stands that come with the McFarlane figures, that way you can at least get him off the ground, especially when you want to get him into a sweet flying pose as such. So the articulation is definitely there. The effects are definitely there. They look great. And I just overall like the effect of this, even though primarily this is pretty much going to be it in terms of getting something really cool in terms of standing him on your shelf. I'm just going to say, because he doesn't have any of those cool weapons from the old 90s return comic series, right? So you got nice silver, it's all painted well, but again, it's largely a black figure, right? On the backside, you get all the different musculature. He's very much a big old muscled out Superman, which is totally cool, and the head portraits are great. In terms of all the different accessories and whatnot, 
It's nice that he comes with extra hands. Sure, you pose him out, you get him all situated. The head, nice articulation. He's got the neck and then the head itself. So you get double points of articulation. The mullet does not get in the way and they swap accordingly, which are nice. And both are cool. I like the more solemn, subdued Superman. And then, yeah, you have to deal with the uh, cyborg Superman and Mongol. I get it. You're going to be mad about that. And then, yeah, I'll take him down in Coast City. But I like the articulation scheme on these Metacom Toys figures. I think they're really cool to pose out. Are they necessarily for me and getting them all? Heck no. I'm really liking what they're doing with the 90s stuff. I really do like this figure. But I'll tell you again... It's kind of boring. So I'm really looking forward to getting the Cyborg Superman figure. I hope they do Steel and Superboy and they kind of round that out because largely without those figures, it's just kind of like, okay, cool. Thanks for the uh, black costume Superman. He does have a lot of articulation, of course, in the abs and the waist. You really kind of have to situate it to get it all back and forth. He's got the drop down legs, which are totally cool. Those work. No pins. He's got double jointed knees, nothing at the boot, nothing like that. But you got the feet and the toes. The one thing I noticed, though, when I started moving him around is that he got kind of loose in the legs and at the feet. So that's kind of a bummer. When you want to go ahead and swap out the hands, those totally work as well. So maybe you're going to be stopping a, a train or something, whatever doomsday Threw at you. I know in the timeline of Superman Returns and the Death of Superman, all that kind of stuff. Doomsday's long gone at this point. But he sure makes for some great photos to have him going up against this solar Superman. So I totally dig that. I like the way that it looks. Again, in posing this guy out and getting him to stand, even though he's kind of got some loose joints once in a while and it kind of gets frustrating when you want to get him going, it does make for some nice photos, right? Very cool to see especially when you want to give the old one to wall up to doomsday right here so you can have him punching him right in the face like i said doomsday is just to stand in until i get my cyborg superman which i'm really looking forward to and if you've seen my previous metacom videos you'll know that i really absolutely love this nightfall batman it's one of my favorite figures in recent memory it's awesome and i think that these two scale fairly well together it's a real 90s palooza right going on lately lots of different properties are reaching those anniversaries so yeah that's why we're getting a lot of these characters are coming back and i don't mind it at all it's a lot of fun from spawn to the scarlet spider to superboy yeah you can really have a lot of fun on your shelves these days but something i want to talk about real fast if you'll allow me and you can stick with it if you've never used entertainment earth well, I got some affiliate links down in the description below if you're interested in this Superman figure or really any of the other brands that they offer. Really anything you could think of from Black Series to Funko Pops to Legos, Entertainment Earth totally has it. And it's always pretty easy to use, right? You just go up in that search bar and just correctly spell Mayfex and it should pull up the windows. You can click on Superman. He is a little bit pricey for what you get. I did say it's kind of a boring figure, so if he's really not your cup of tea, they do have a ton of other Mayfex figures available. For those in stock, my affiliate links will give you 10% off, so just keep that in mind. It has to be in stock, or maybe McFarlane is the way to go. They are starting to utilize the DC Batman 66 figures for other avenues besides Target, so you can always go ahead and grab those. If you were to spend over 59 bucks, you use the code FREESHIP59, and you'll get free shipping on top of my 10% off. So that ain't too shabby at all. So, highly recommend Entertainment Earth. They're great peoples. They ship good. Everything's always packaged so nicely. And they usually get things first for the most part because they're located in California. Search the site. Find something cool. I guarantee you'll find something there that you like. So, that will wrap it up for my look at this, again, fairly recent, kind of, sort of, brand new, Solar Regeneration Return of Black Costume Superman figure. Kind of sort of loose joints when I started moving them around. It's kind of a bummer, to be honest with you. Don't really care for the Mafex flight stands at all. The big bummer with this figure is that he's missing all those cool 90s guns and straps and everything else. I do like that they included the extra boots. I wish they would have given him weapon holding hands, that's for sure. But the head portraits really match what I saw as in the 90s so you've heard my thoughts now i'm curious to know yours comment below let me know let's talk everything death and return of superman 
And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, yes, stay tuned for my Cyborg Superman figure. I haven't gotten him yet as of this video, but he should be on his way fairly soon. And when it does, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.